What's going on guys, it's Kajar's back again with another video. Look guys, we're doing part two of the Fluent Power Trip add-on by CG Thoughts. And today we're going to be using the Grid Models tool. So to do that, let's quickly add some geometry. And we'll add some geometry by pressing F on the keyboard to bring up this Fluent menu. Now we'll go to the left where it says Create. Now notice we don't see anything. And to see the grid, you have to right click on the mouse to have it appear. And you can change the scale by left clicking on scale and dragging the mouse to the right to make it bigger or to the left to make it smaller. Or you can hold down shift for incremental movements. Like um, it's a blender functionality with pretty much anything. So once you're satisfied with the scale, you can add more um, resolution to this by left clicking on uh, resolution and dragging the mouse left or right. So left being decreasing and to increase, go to the right. And once you're satisfied, you can just let go of the grid away from this menu here. And it's the same thing for the rest of the functionality. You can just left click on anything and change it. Now, once you want to make your geometry, you can just left click and drag. And once you're satisfied, you have the shape you want. You can just left click again. And we can drag the mouse to the left or right. Left, bring, making it smaller. And if you drag it to the right, it increases the scale. And once you're satisfied, left click again. Now, to let's just add some uh, bevel to this. So you can left click and hold to bring up this menu, and we'll just go to first bevel. And with that selected, we can just drag the mouse to the right or to the left to add a nice bevel. And if you left click hold once again, you can add a second bevel to this to round off the top and bottom. So once you're satisfied, just click again to finalize that. And let's right click to uh, confirm this. Now if we hold left mouse button, you see nothing happens because we already confirmed it. So if you ever wanna make any adjustments to this, you can just select the model, hit F, and go back to edit. And then left click, hold, and you have the, those menus again. So we're done with this, so we're just gonna right click to get out of that mode. Now let's start working with the grid. So once you have your model selected, we're just gonna hit F, and we're gonna to go to the left where it says cut slash add. Now we're gonna right click to bring back up our grid. And let's draw a little square. So we'll left click and hold one of these vertices and we'll just drag it to about here. And to finalize that, we'll left click once again and we can drag in or out. So if I rotate, you'll see what it's actually doing. So once you're satisfied, just left click and then we can right click to finalize that. So now we have our Boolean object. Now to use the grid, you wanna make sure it's visible. So reselect this model here, hit F, and we're gonna to go to where it says show slash hide Boolean object. And now we can actually see the wireframe of the Boolean object here. So we're just gonna select it now. So once you have that highlighted, you can hit F on the keyboard and we're just gonna go down to grid, select it, and notice you don't see anything. So to bring up the grid options, you can left click and hold to select the one you want. So we'll just choose something simple like this uh, hexagon here. And quickly you see our Boolean object is now <clears throat> a hexagon. So this is very powerful stuff. And like the rest of the options, you can just left click, left click, left click and hold and select one of these options. So if you wanna change the grid scale, you can select it and move your mouse to the left or right and left click to confirm it. So we just downscaled that. So we can left click, hold, change the grid size, go to the right, make it much bigger. And we could also add a solidify modifier to this to add some thickness. So let's just select uh, left click, hold again, go to solidify and you can drag left to right to add a little bit of thickness. You can also left click and hold and change the positioning as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you guys found this somewhat useful. If you did, please consider giving this video a like, commenting, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.